Coast. Also tonight, Coral Springs police defending their officers' actions after cell phone video shows one of them punching a teenage girl as they tried to restrain her. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live outside the police department with more. Ted. Yeah, Ruta Bay and Jim, Coral Springs police are defending their actions against allegations that one of their officers used excessive force against a freshman, a 14-year-old girl, at the mall yesterday. Uh, we spoke to police just a little while ago. They're not going on camera at this point, but said right now there is no investigation going on into this officer's actions. They said that he followed procedures when he punched that girl three times in the rib cage. It's video from outside Coral Square Mall showing a male Coral Springs police officer appear to punch a 14-year-old girl. A female officer is there, too. I'm pissed. I'm angry. Um, I would never expect this to happen. The teen, her mom, and their attorney spoke today. They did not want us to show the high school freshman's face. The family alleges police went too far. He went completely overboard. It was unnecessary. Her, like we've said, her hands were pinned up. He's fishtailing her whole body with her shorts. It was just too much going on, and she clearly <clears throat> wasn't aggressive. The attorney only spoke of what happened during this video clip, not commenting on what went on before or after. To say that the police officer was justified to punch her continuously while he has his knee on her back with her hands under her belly, the video speaks for itself. That's the truth right there. Police, however, are not backing down. They tell us that they were called to the mall after getting reports of unruly kids. The teen was taken into custody after police say she began cursing when someone else was arrested. Why are you in her? As police arrested her, they said she began to fight and resist arrest. And that due to her stature and aggressive behavior, the officer took her to the ground, attempting to get her to release her fists. They went on to say in order to get her to comply, she was struck in the side to release her clenched fists. How you gonna sit there and punch a girl, bro? That's not right. Family sent us a second video clip showing her being put into the cruiser. Police said when officers attempted to place her in the patrol car, she violently kicked one of the officers. According to the female officer, she said as the teen sat down, she kicked her in the stomach. In the video, it's difficult to see what happened in those last moments because of the position of the door. So that male officer in the video that you saw said that he punched her uh, several times because she was not following orders. And as you recall in the video, her hands were underneath her body. The officer said uh, he wasn't sure with her hands underneath the body if she perhaps maybe had a weapon tucked into her waistband. He said that's why he took the actions that he took. Live in Coral Springs, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.